fight you're about to watch is my very first Valley Tudo fight, aka MMA, back in 1996. I never forget this day because the day I was preparing for my fight was the same day my instructor, Leo Dalla, was preparing to move back to Brazil. No, I never thought about having guys in the UFC like we do now. You gotta remember one thing. Back then, in 1996, all I was thinking about was fighting. When I got into this sport, I didn't know anything about sport jiu-jitsu. All I wanted to do was fight, nothing more, nothing less. I wanted to fight and be just like Royce Gracie. I love to fight, I love to compete. I had some severe injuries that you know kind of put me out of competition, but even with that, in 2005, I went back to Brazil and won the world championships in my age division. And also in 2008, I stepped back on the mat in the Nogi World, became a Nogi World Champion. I just love this. No, I don't think so. I'm not like these other coaches and instructors. I'm not scared to compete to, you know, for fear of losing students, for fear of losing. I compete for the love. Like I said, I've done it all. I fought MMA, BJJ, Sambo, Judo, and I've done it all at the highest level. This fight you're about to watch right now was done back in 1996, over 14 years ago. People that talk bad about my marketing, I could care less about. I'm out here doing a real thing. We're, we're promoting a real product with real proof and real success. I'm not out here marketing any bullshit. This is what we do. This is a real deal. Most people that talk shit about me are just jealous. They try to discredit what I've done, the success I've had, the hard work I've put in, what I've built, what my team has done, the hard work my students have put in, and what the team overall has built. You know, it's fine. But the results don't lie. And it all started back in 1996 when I first stepped into that ring with only six months of BJJ experience. I'm an outlier in the truest sense. I'm an outlier in business. I'm an outlier in success. I'm a warrior. I'm a soldier. But you know what? When it's all said and done, all the people talking shit, they'll never know what it's like to step in the cage or a ring and cast their fist up and put those MMA gloves on. Step into that cage and look across at another man gonna try to knock you the fuck out what I do.